Hi, my name is Adam Penzenstadler. I'm the cost and scheduling engineer for the Taylor Transportation Service Center. I'm here today to uh, talk to you about uh, induction lighting. Right now we're doing a demonstration project here. Uh, we're on uh, the side of uh, I-94 in uh, Wayne County between uh, Middle Belt and uh, Merriman Road. For those of you that are uh, familiar with this area, this is uh, right in front of the uh, airport. So what is induction lighting? Induction lighting uses an induction coil that creates a magnetic field which excites the gas and produces the light. The way these things work is you can see the lamp in there. It looks pretty much like a regular uh, fluorescent light bulb, but it doesn't have any filaments or electrodes or anything like that. Instead, those uh, silver uh, sprocket looking things are induction coils. They create a uh, magnetic field which excites the gas and creates the uh, light. One of the benefits of this light is that it has an extremely long life. Um, it's uh, rated to last about 100,000 hours, which uh, has a 10-year warranty, so for the next 10 years, we shouldn't have to come out and do hardly any maintenance or anything like that. Um, it's replacing the uh, high-pressure sodium lights, which right now we go out every three to five years to uh, replace those lights. Um, you can see it's a very busy highway, and uh, one of the benefits of this light is that not having to put someone out here in traffic as often is a huge uh, safety benefit for the department. All we're doing is taking the existing high-pressure sodium Cobra heads off and replacing them exactly with uh, these heads. Uh, they've been designed, the lenses have been fitted specifically for the pole spacing out here, so we can do this project as a retrofit and we don't need to uh, add any additional poles or uh, change the spacing out here. Those uh, Cobra heads are made uh, right here in uh, Jackson, Michigan by uh, Everlast. So it's a Michigan company. Um, the majority of the components are made right here in Michigan with uh, the entirety of it all being within the U.S. And this is a uh, white light that is produced. Unlike the uh, yellow lights that you get from the high pressure sodium, this will be a more of a white natural light. So it'll be more of a, a natural light to the driver's eye. This is an ARA project that is being uh, administered through a DLEG grant uh, to MDOT. We're uh, testing the uh, energy efficiencies of uh, induction lighting, find out if this uh, technology will uh, provide the uh, energy savings that we're looking for. Rawhorn Electric is doing the light for us, and uh, on average it takes them about 10 minutes uh, to uh, take down and install a new light. These days we're all trying to save money by uh, using uh, less energy and uh, less uh, maintenance costs, so we're really hoping that uh, this is a good benefit for the tax dollars or taxpayers, saving uh, taxpayer money. So uh, we're really hoping for a successful project. I invite you to come down here. Anytime you come down by the airport, come on in, check out the lights and uh, see what you think.